Hey everybody, today we're going to be seeing if you can actually fill up a balloon with the perfect amount of helium so that when you let go of it, it stays exactly where it is. It doesn't float and it doesn't sink, but just stays right there. Well, I'm gonna be showing you a cool trick to try to achieve this. Okay, now that we've got some helium in the balloon, so it's easily gonna float to the ceiling. So what I have to do now is add the perfect amount of weight to it so that it perfectly balances it in the air. But if you try to add some weight to get it to perfectly balance, what ends up happening is you add some and then take some off, then add some, take some off, add some, take some off, and then it just goes on forever it seems like, and you can't ever get the right amount. But I'm gonna show you a really cool trick that kind of auto puts on the amount of weight needed for you. Okay, so first I'm gonna tie some string onto this. So now watch what happens when I let the balloon go. It's gonna to start to go up, but as it goes up, it's gonna pick up more and more string, which makes the balloon heavier. So it's going to go up and it's going to balance at just the right position with just the right amount of string that perfectly balances its weight. Okay. So that means that this amount of string right here is the perfect weight of the balloon. So let me cut it off and see if it works. Okay, it's about right here. Okay, it looks like that was a little too much. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add a little bit more string to the bottom here with some tape. off a little more. Okay, and there you go, the perfectly balanced balloon. So now all we have to do is wrap up the string around the balloon. Now once you get your perfectly balanced balloon, you'll notice that it's actually not that perfect because even though we've removed the effect of gravity from it, there's another force that now becomes apparent, and that's the electric force. Because when you blow up a balloon, you inevitably get some static electricity on it. And so you get a charge on the balloon that induces charges and things around it. So basically the balloon is now attracted to everything around it. Now normally to see this effect, you have to really get the balloon statically charged and then it will stick to a wall or something. But now that we've removed the force of gravity from the equation, now no matter how minute that electric charge is, even though I didn't do anything to the balloon to charge it up, there's still a tiny little bit of charge on it. And so no matter what, it's attracted to me, it's attracted to the walls, it's attracted to the ceiling, the floor, anything in the room. And so what happens is that inevitably makes it unbalanced again. And so I can place it wherever I want and no matter what, it just comes to me. <laughs> so what that means is that now you can just kind of direct it wherever you want it to go just by using static electricity, just by using your hand basically. So now it's gonna go to the wall because it's closer to the wall. Or if I put it closer to the ceiling now, it's gonna go to the ceiling. What's happening here is the system is innately unstable. Just like trying to balance two magnets on top of each other, no matter what you do, one of the magnets is always gonna flip over and fall to the other one. And the reason it's innately unstable is because let's say I got the weight of the balloon exactly perfect so that it exactly equaled the weight of displaced air. 
Well, some of the helium atoms are always leaving from the balloon, and so it's always changing the volume of displaced air, and so that means I'd have to continually be adjusting the system. And so no matter how good your system is, it's never going to be stable. And another factor in all of this is temperature. No matter what, the temperature in the room is slightly fluctuating, and when the temperature in the room fluctuates, that changes the density of the air, which changes how buoyant the balloon is in the air. But the bigger factor than all of this is actually the static electric charge. So not only do you have to balance the buoyant force or gravity, but you would also have to perfectly balance the static charge, meaning that you'd have to have it perfectly placed so that it's in the exact center of all the electric forces around the entire room pulling on it exactly the same, which is also impossible to do. So the best what you can do is get an almost perfect balanced balloon so that you can at least control it with your Jedi forces. So when the balloon is slightly charged, it's going to be attracted to everything around it but repel another latex balloon. And so what makes it easier to balance it is just to get another balloon because then you're not dealing with an attractive force but a repelling force. So then you can really get it to balance in the air. <laughs> you can use the force on it. Come this way. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever. It just really wants to be around me for some reason. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button and remember to hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos out. Unless you hit that bell, there's no guarantee that you'll even be notified when I'm posting a new video. And then check out theactionlab.com to see the Action Lab subscription box. The very first box you'll get is a mini vacuum chamber where you can do experiments similar to the ones you see me do on my channel here. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.